Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. Another uh, arcade one-up video here. Uh, since I got tons of messages on this and comments on a lot of the videos after people have downloaded the images, um, uh, one of the questions is uh, people wanted to add their own ROMs to the image I already have. Uh, because let's say they have the uh, like like this uh, rampage machine, they want to add more like two-player games or games that are just two buttons on here, or they might not have the Street Fighter. Let's say they only have the Final Fight cabinet, but they like a lot of the uh, two-button two-player games I have on this one. They want to add it to that, or or they just want to they like the image. Uh, maybe they have a uh, Turtles four-player. They want to add these three-player uh, games on there as well. Uh, can you do that? Yes. Um, I'm going to show you guys how here if you want to add in your own uh, ROMs to the image that's already built on here. And also about the controls. Um, uh, some people are using different controls or maybe the controls are not working for them. Or let's say they want to use, uh, um, have this on their um, uh, Xbox controller or maybe uh, they have the, uh, like a San Juan joystick, maybe it's not uh, configured. Like I said, I configured everything on here to make it as simple as it could be on here for you guys so you don't have to, you know, uh, do it for every game and then like, you know, it's all set up. But if, if it's not working for you and if you want to add in more games, uh, I'm going to show you guys everything on here, how to do that. So basically, uh, I have the Rampage uh, loaded up here. And any of the images uh, that you guys download on here is fine. Uh, so here's the Rampage one. And as you can see on here, right now we have uh, no, um, no option screen on here. We scroll down. Uh, there's nothing. And we need to first input that on here before we do anything. So... Uh, the way we do that, we got to grab our keyboard, uh, make sure that's plugged in to the USB port, and um, we're going to click F4, all right, F4 on the keyboard, we'll exit out of there, and we'll take you to the command line here, because we're going to need to put in a command, uh, go uh, back into the RetroPie setup screen on here, and let's put that options uh, menu back on our, uh, on our image here. Uh, like I said, the reason I don't have it, um, all the images that you see on here, I try to make it as easy, as basic, and also as user-friendly uh, on there. But let's say if you do want it on there, or you do want that options menu on there, uh, this is how you're going to do it. And like I said, this will allow you to set up all the other stuff as well. Uh, so the first thing uh, on the command line here, you're going to type in sudo space... Uh, RetroPie and RetroPie is big R and a uh, big P. Um, so sudo RetroPie dash setup with a big S and a slash then RetroPie again but this time all lowercase underscore uh, setup again all lowercase dot sh all right, so that's how it should look. sudo retropy dash setup slash retropy underscore setup dot sh. Once you have that, uh, let's click enter, and then uh, it'll get us here into the uh, the menus here. The first thing you're gonna do is gonna go manage packages. The third one down on here. Click enter. Uh, manage core packages, the first one up there. All right, and this is where the RetroPie menu on the bottom here. Uh, as you can see, it's not installed, so we're going to install this back on here. Click Enter and install from binary. All right, this is going to put that back on there. Uh, and then you know, once you set everything up, if you want to uh, get it back to how, how I had it on here, you'd go back to this menu and then just remove it here uh, should you want to remove that again in a future time. All right, so that will put that back on there. Uh, next thing is about the controls, all right? Now, if, uh, if the controls are working for you on here and you do not want to fix it, you could skip this step, but for people that are having issues with the controls, uh, this is what you're going to do on here. Uh, you're going to go to... Uh, emulation station on here 
Okay, the one above. Click enter and then go here to configuration options. All right, and then here you could clear reset emulation station input configuration. That's what we want to do. So click enter. It's going to say here, are you sure you want to reset? Yes. And then boom, it has been reset to default values. So that, that's going to reset our thing when we reboot on here we're going to be prompted to um, input our control just as if you were to let's say install um, you know a Raspberry Pi image on there for the first time uh, the other thing if that still does not work for you uh, for any chance uh, it should it, that should clear all the fixes and then you should be able to set up controls um, if there's still uh, issues on there the other thing that you could do let's back out of here uh, click back up here on the retro arch all right which is installed click enter there and then over here what we, what I would recommend doing you could remove this remove it core patches are in it you know it's gonna say give you that warning side but we're gonna remove it but then we're gonna install it back on here so it's removed and then go to uh, install from source on here all right this is going to take a little bit, uh, a few minutes on here because it's got to install all the different uh, core packages onto RetroArch. All right, so just give it a minute. I'll fast forward this uh, on here in the video and then I'll rejoin you guys back once this is all done. All right, so yeah, I mean, it, it does take maybe I'll say like five minutes or so to do that, but. Like I said this should really uh, clear anything that was already previously set up. You may not need to do the retro arch. The uh, uh, just the configuration might be enough. Okay, so we have a clean retro arch installed there. We got our menu back on, and we uh, reset any type of controls on here. So we're gonna back out, back out all the way, and then I like to perform a reboot on here. All right, so click that. Yes, it's gonna reboot. And basically, when this starts up on here, it's gonna be as if uh, when you were to install like a clean RetroPie image, uh, it's gonna ask you to input your controls on there. So you'll be prompted to that because right now there's no uh, there's no control set up at the moment. So and that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna uh, input the uh, the keyboard on here controls I'm not gonna do anything with the joysticks all right but like I said when you're setting this up um, see so you're gonna be prompted it reads there's already three game pads on there which is I have USB for all three um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna import the keyboard uh, up down left right start select a, B. Now you don't have to do all of them, and especially if you only have um, a few buttons, like you're not going to have, uh, you know, uh, you just hold the button to skip any of the, you know, if you only have two buttons or three buttons, uh, you know, obviously you're not going to have like a left thumb or right thumb unless you're using like an Xbox or a PS controller. So you're going to skip all those. Like I said, just hold. One of the buttons you already have mapped out, and then the last one is where you in, uh, put your hotkey. That's it. That's set up. All right. If you got to do more controls, like I said, if you're doing like a uh, rampage with three controllers, just hit start, and then go back to uh, configure input, and it's going to ask you to click yes, and then um, you're going to input the other controls. That's that's where that's at. All right, so once you have your control set up on there, uh, as you can see, we have our option screen back on here. So let's go there. Um, now, if the controls for some odd reason are still uh, wonky or ain't you know ain't working right on here, uh, last thing I, uh, that you could do in the file manager here, go in there. And then we're gonna back up here. So the first one on top will get you back, and then again back until you have these folders here. And you're gonna go to OPT, uh, then click RetroPie, 
configs and then uh, all and then you can see here RetroArch Joypads okay and these are the Genrack USB and what you could do here um, F8 as you can see it down here uh, is the menus for number 8 so you're gonna have to press F8 on the and that's gonna ask you if you want to delete it you know and then you would delete uh, those two this way it's all clean on here like I said do that if um, if what you did still does not work for you and then F10 will get you out of here and then reboot and then uh, and then see if that helps uh, but usually just that first step should do it but if not like I said I want to give you those two other options just in case if uh, if there's still issues on that so that that takes care of the control you know you you have your uh, joysticks mapped out um, obviously the first thing you're gonna want to also go into is right here retroarch okay and in the uh, retroarch menu uh, A is to go forward, B is to go back uh, you're gonna go to settings and you want to go to input here okay and then this is where you set up your hotkeys right here in this one and you know if you want to change configure it's gonna be on here you know you if you want to set something up like I said the way I had it set up is uh, the hotkey here and this to be uh, the exit key you know and I have everything else disabled unless it's on the uh, um, you're using the keyboard but if you let's say you want to uh, add it onto the joystick that's where you go and then here you also do your user one binds uh, if you want to set your controller up here you would go bind all you know set up down left right any ones that you don't have you just don't press anything or skip over them and then save auto config on here you could do that for player one two and three uh, go back uh, go to configuration and I would set this on on when you uh, exit it'll save it all right and then go back right here um, configuration file and then you could save your uh, uh, current configuration so that would set you know whatever changes you made set that up and then we could quit out of that um, some games you may have to uh, set up the controls for each game, you know, because uh, they might be a bit different. So when you're in game, uh, you just got to bring up the menu, depending what emulator or ROM you're running. Uh, some you could just hit the uh, the tab key for like the uh, main games. Uh, some you'll have to hit the hot key with the X button uh, to bring up that retroarch menu that you saw, and then you can set up the controls. Um, all right, uh, so that that takes care of that. Um, now you want to add in the games, um, so you, uh, you want to uh, set up your Wi-Fi basically. Because uh, I'm assuming you're going to be uh, bringing these games in remotely. I mean, that's probably the easiest way. You just got to make sure both your computer and the Raspberry Pi are on the, are on the same uh, network on there. So you would go here to Wi-Fi. Now load that up, and then right here, connect to Wi-Fi. It's going to ask you for your password, enter that, and then uh, I'm, I'm online because mine's already set on here, you know, but you'll have to set your own on there uh, with the first option there, connect to Wi-Fi. All right, and once you do that, uh, you're online. This is where you get your IP to. Um, you also want to go, I would recommend going here to... Uh, Raspy, oop, wrong button. Rasp, uh, pay configuration. Okay, um, and then in this uh, uh, menu here, under um, advanced options, sometimes depending, because I shrink the images and I zipped it, if it gives you a message like when you're adding the games and it's there's no space uh, on here, it's because uh, you have to expand the file. So. Uh, 
if you do have to do that that's where you do it the first option there will resize it uh, and you know to whatever size of the memory card you have uh, so you don't run into that issue okay and then also right here let me go back under the uh, interfacing option number five is where you enable SH you might need to enable this this will allow you to uh, transfer the uh, the ROMs over so you would say yes enable it okay if it hasn't been enabled yet all right I'm gonna get back out of there and that should take uh, care of everything and uh, you should be now able to uh, transfer the ROMs um, and your control should be set up you know how you want to set it up if the default that I have set up on here does not work um, what I've also put in the description on there if you guys check out the links I made a default arcade one up image and what that has is just gonna have the basic where the on off switch is on there the volume switch code is inputted this uh, uh, arcade one up uh, theme is inputted on there and that's it it's gonna have the options on there but no controls or anything set up it's just gonna be like a default uh, so let's say you wanna uh, build your own from scratch or you wanna do one that maybe I haven't done yet uh, uh, to get started on it uh, like I said it's, uh, it's like the default that I use before I set everything up and that will just have those inputted on there and nothing else so you could try that image uh, if you want to build your own um, and also uh, if, if you guys downloaded this rampage image I just made an update on it um, I added uh, Midway Classics on here which also has the old-school uh, Bally Midway uh, so you have the arch rivals uh, you know the Defender uh, Goldland, both Goldland 1 and 2 I added, uh, Journeys on there, and I put Trog, which is 4 player, but I set this one up to only be 3 player, uh, which does have the switch for it, and then, I don't know if I did any under the Rampage one, this is all 3 players, uh, I added Brute Force, I think I, somehow I missed this game, I don't know how, but um, everything else is here for all the 3 player games. You know, I think I added this also, Karate uh, Blazers. I don't know if that was on the previous image. There might be like uh, two and then Trog, you know, maybe two or three games that I added on there. So if you guys want to download that, there's a version two available now as well. All right, any, uh, any questions or comments, uh, leave that in the uh, comments section. I'll try to get to all the comments. Um, uh, make sure you like subscribe and I'll be having uh, the, the next one that you're gonna see uh, that I'm working on currently is the centipede I know I'm using the Pac-Man one on here but it's back there I ran out of the uh, <laughs> uh, video uh, adapters I gotta order another one but instead of waiting for it to come in I decided to start on this I'm pretty much done on this I have the trackball working where it's navigating the menus and everything so you don't have to have a joystick or anything input it and I've got all the games working with the trackball I'm just doing some little minor tweaks here and there uh, but this should be coming out I should have the image done for you guys uh, uh, maybe within the next day or two, uh, look for that. Like I said, uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get that notification. You know, hit the bell, you'll get the notification when, uh, whenever I uh, post a new video. All right, guys, uh, that does it here for now. I'll see you guys in a bit.